So the Swinton Hurdle is race two on day one of the final week of the season. And the top one in this two-mile grade three handicap is Sir Usain Bolt, Paul Rhodes. Quebec City, Darren Thompson, Rod Laver, Paul Rhodes, Soggy Bottom, David Robertson, Kingdom of Cult, Joshua Sutherland, Samoa Sabbath, Molly at Surfer, Janice Sings, Graham Clutterbuck, Samoa Sunrise, Molly at Surfer, and Princely and Darren Howell. So just nine then. I've been called in, and away they go, and the rain is not here for a change, and Soggy Bottom may well get round this race without one today, and is in the lead from Samoa Sabbath in second, and Kingdom of Colts is third, and the outside now being was pushed up into second. The field is pretty tightly packed as they make their way towards the first of only six flights of hurdles in this race, and they skip over that one with on the outside Sir Usain Bolt making some good progress. The one closest to us in those gold coloured jodhpurs is Samoa Sunrise I think or it might be Samoa Sabbath as the two Molliet Surfer horses are pretty much in the same sort of position in the race at the moment so they come past the big screen then past the winning post they've got one more complete circuit of the track to go so we get a look at them from the top of the stand and Soggy Bottom leads by about five lengths to Princely in second and the grey Janice Sings on the inside of Sir Usain Bolt Rod Laver is close up behind that one in Quebec City Samoa Sabbath on the inside I think Samoa Sunrise is the one with the gold jodhpurs the back marker now is Kingdom of Colts and they're racing towards the second flight then and they've only got a little more than a mile and a quarter still to go and Soggy Bottom is in front and skips over the second and all over that one okay and Soggy Bottom is well clear of Prince Leap who's now in second the two Molliet server horses are being pushed up now to go into second and third. But Soggy Bottom is still the clear leader for David Robertson with Samoa Sunrise in second, Samoa Sabbath in third. Princely on the inside of that one, four, then see Usain Bolt and Janice Sings together. Kingdom of Colts, Quebec City, and finally Rod Laver. So three fence, three hurdles have been negotiated now then. They're making their way towards the fourth. And Soggy Bottom is the leader. As he has been throughout. The lead's down to probably about three and a half lengths now. With Samoa Sunrise in second place. Samoa Sabbath in third, just being pushed along a little bit there as they come into the fourth. And then all over that one, okay. And they've got just two more flights of hurdles to take then, and six furlongs still to race. And Soggy Bottom is in the lead from Samoa Sunrise and Samoa Sabbath. Then comes Sir Usain Bolt and Princely Janice sings the ground for that one, looking for a bit of room. Is Kingdom of Colts. Then comes Rod Laver, Quebec City is still the back marker, but only about 12 lengths off the lead. And it's Soggy Bottom in front from Samoa Sunrise in second. Samoa Sabbath third. Janice sings is looking for room. Kingdom of Colts is going to need to split up the inside of the stake there while the horse in second. And it's Soggy Bottom who's still in the lead there. Here comes the grey Janice Sings now coming down to throw down a big challenge. Samoa Sabbath on the outside also coming wide now is Quebec City, but it's still Soggy Bottom from Janice Sings as they race up towards the final flight. They've got three furlongs still to go, and Soggy Bottom's been in the lead all the way, but now Janice Sings is throwing down a big challenge. Quebec City, Kingdom of Cults trying to get into it, so Samoa Sunrise is between these shortly. It's Soggy Bottom still in the lead though from Janice Sings over the final flight they go, and Soggy Bottom got away from it well. Janice Sings trying to put in one last lunge, then comes Kingdom of Cults back in third. Quebec City's in fourth, but it's Still Soggy Bottom trying to make it a pillar to post win for David Robertson. It's Soggy Bottom in the lead. Janice Sings is trying to close. But Soggy Bottom looks like he's holding on at the moment. Soggy Bottom inside the final half furlong. Soggy Bottom still by a length of race up towards the line now. Then it's Soggy Bottom. Janice Sings is trying to put in one last effort. But Soggy Bottom looks like he's going to hold on at the line. Soggy Bottom wins it. Janice Sings is in Quebec City. Third Kingdom of Colts. Four in Samoa Sunrise. And Princely ended up to be the back marker. And David Robertson takes the Swinton hurdle with Soggy Bottom. Who led from start to finish. Janice Sings looked like she was going to throw down a big challenge coming into that final flight. But didn't quite have what it took to wear down the leader. So Soggy Bottom takes it for David Robertson. Then second was Janice Sings for Graham Glitterbuck. Quebec City for Darren Thompson was third. Kingdom of Cults, Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Samoa Sunrise for Molliet Surfer was fifth.